Sushruta for Neat is now available on the Google Play Store. Try it out for free. Now, let us take up the importance of the species diversity to the ecosystem. Does the number of species in a community really matter to the function of the ecosystem? What do you say? Does the number of species in a community really matter to the function of the ecosystem? Whether there are 1,000 species, 500 species, 200 species, does it matter? Please, quick, please. Quick, quick, quick. Does it matter? This is a question for which ecologists have not been able to give a definitive answer. But remember, ecologists believe that communities with more species generally tend to be more stable than those with lesser species. Whenever a community has more species, it is more stable. I have already told you, in a bench sitting six members, in a bench having only three members, Six members bench is fully occupied. It is more stable than the three members bench. Because what exactly is a stability of a biological community? A stable community should not show too much variation in productivity from year to year. Even though I say that a particular forest community is stable, how much yield you get from that forest? How much <coughs> products you get? That is important. There is always a stable. There will not be much uh, difference as I have given the example of, say, one particular forest area having about 500 mango tree, 500 jackfruit tree, 500 another fruit tree, X, Y, Z. So we can expect this much of mangoes will be growing from this particular forest area. This is for experimental purpose. We shall uh, mark some area of the forest. We shall see that how many different types of plants are there trees are there and how much uh, produce product you get from that uh, area. Yes, this will be always fixed. What exactly stability? A stable community should not show too much variation productivity from year to year. It might be either resistant or resilient. Resistant or resilient. Resilient is the, is the ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficult condition. Even if something goes wrong, they can recover, they can come back to occasional disturbances as natural or man-made disturbances, and it must also be resistant to invasions by alien species. Alien species is a species from outside. It will be resistant. It won't allow some other new species to come and establish there because they have already established there. They will not give any scope for them to just uh, grow there. So in this aspect, uh, one particular gentleman has done some experiment towards called a David Tillman's long-term ecosystem study. So this David Tillman's long-term, David very always ask a question, what is that? David Tillman's long-term ecosystem experiment using outdoor flowers provides some tentative answer. What this gentleman has done, this gentleman has established some long-term flowers, long-term ecosystem experiments. What is this long-term ecosystem experiments? I am in a better position to tell you because please, please know that uh, way back, about uh, 20 years, yes, yeah, uh, nearly 20, 22, yeah, 25 years, around 22, 25 years, around 20 years back, I got one project. I got a research project with the help of the government of Karnataka, Forest Department. Beautifully designed project. I have designed a project where this is the same term, long-term ecosystem experiment. I did some long-term ecosystem experiment. You just tell me what I've done. Please, please listen very carefully. I'm going to put you a question. Okay. What I have done, I have established established 40 by 40 side, 40 meter, 40 meters by 40 meter, 40 meters by 40 meter side, three of the floors, 40 by 40 meter, three of the floors in uh, three different areas. In my research uh, location, what is called Kigga. You might have heard about uh, Kigga. Okay. Most of the ministers, they go there and they pray God to get to the rain or if it is uh, too much of rain, to stop the rain. It is uh, known as Kigga as a uh, rain god. Rain god. Okay. God of rain. So, Shiva it is. So, here, in this Kigga, 
in that forest, I had put uh, three of my experimental study plots. What is this? One, this plot, this, A, let me say, plot A, plot B, plot C. This plot A was very much in, uh, very much near Kigga Township. It is a very small village, yeah? Okay, the main, near the temple, Kigga. That uh, plot A was very much near the, very much near the temple. Okay, very much near the temple. So this, Kigga. And this was little bit away. Let this be was a little bit away from the the main uh, the township, and this is in very much uh, deep inside the forest, very much uh, very much uh, deep inside the forest. So now, what was done in this experiment? In this experiment, in this forty by forty plot, what it will be? All the plants that the trees, the shrubs, herbs, etc. All these are taken into consideration, especially for the woody trees and the shrubs. We have just tagged also. We have put some aluminum ring and we have marked on that. We have marked uh, that, uh, we have numbered it and everything got uh, keyed into a computer. Okay, what all plants are there, what type of trees are there, what type of shrubs are there, and their girth, their girth, etc., etc. Everything was entered into that. Everything was entered. The same thing is done here also in B plot and BC plot. Everything, whatever that is studied there, it is computerized. Okay, uh, that with the one uh, one year report that we have completed. The intention of this study is after ten years, after ten years, you visit there. Of course, it is the left to the department. I have completed at that time. After ten years, when you go back again, the person will go back, go there, and he will see in his uh, hard copy also, and what all plants are there, what all trees are there, what all shrubs are there, what all herbs are there. Again, he compares that to what is there now whether they got increased in girth, whether they got decreased, whether they died, like that. So, this is compared after 10 years of A plot, B plot, C plot. And now you tell me what may be the result, if at all after 10 years, if they visit, revisit that, what is the expected result? Tell me. Anyone? So, before 10 years, all this is systematically done. How many trees are there? How many shrubs are there? What are the different types of plants? What is their girth and all? Everything got systematically keyed in the computer. If people go after 10 years, what you expect? What changes you expect in a plot A, plot B, plot C? Do you think that all the plants will remain like that? Or do you see that any changes there? Come on, anyone, quick. I think Vishmita, you entered. Vishwita? No. Can you, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. How can I know that you have entered? Hello? I don't know, sir. You, could, you ask uh, Tanusri. Tanusri, how I came to know? Don't know. Tanu? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tanusri? Yes, Tanusri, are you there? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. What do you say? How I came to know? You will tell? Telepathy. Am I right? Tanu? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kanisa came. Who was not there earlier? Kanisa is there. Okay. Uh, Harshavardhan? Harshavardhan? Have you entered? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes? Okay. Yeah, come on. Now, come on, who will tell me? Who will tell me now? Who will tell what are the changes? Quick, quick, quick. Quick. Quick, 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 start answering. Quick. Hey, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Today, Rakesh, Lohit. Hello. Uh, class is going on. Hello. Class is going on. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Which way the class is going on? Hello, tell me. Can you, sir? What do you can expect? Hello. Rafa? Rafa? Yeah, can you tell me? Yes, sir. Can you tell me? Do you expect, ah, more, uh, sir, more, more species? species there? 
in all the plots? Namiya, who will tell me? Quick, 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 quick. Rakesh, Prathvi, Vishwas, Nadira, who will tell? Namrata. Sir, in plot, plot C. Sir. See, what is expected is that plot C, we wanted to see what's happening. Now remember, now what you, you may expect in A? Plot A? Plot A, because it is very much nearer to the township, lot of degradation can appear here. Less degradation appears in B and very least degradation to appear in C. Am I right? So in this way, what he did, we do not know how these attributes are linked to species richness in a community, but David Tillman, long-term ecosystem experiments using out-to-door plot. Whatever I say, these are out-to-door plots. Provide some tentative answer. Tillman found that plots with more species showed less year-to-year -year variation in the total biomass. So here, the plot to see shows less variation, year-to-year -year variation in total biomass because it is well formed. It is a stabilizer. He also showed that in his experiment, increased diversity contributed to higher productivity. More increased diversity means more the number of more the number of producers, more is the productivity. So you may say, what is that? Everyone can say. More plants are there, more productivity, but this is showed by experiment. So what they do like this, you can see it. These are the people who are working, trying to mark this areas and all. Of course, this is not very good forest. Now, the moment you see light and all here, that means it is not a good forest. If it is a very thick forest, it will be totally covered by the canopy. And when the canopy is there, you will not get, you will not get these, these small, small herbs to grow. No, because the light will not be there and these cannot go that much easily. It will be very nice carpet. So with the small, small and that uh, vegetation, not to the extent of this one. Anyhow, so this is what I have you understood this? Have you understood this experiment? David Tillman's experiment. What it says? It says that uh, that the that uh, more species uh, showed less year to year variation in the total biomass. He found that plots with the plots with the more species. More species showed less year-to-year -year variation because these uh, more species, these individuals, will not yellow new species to come there. New species have come to come there and establish showed less to less variation. There is no much variation in the total biomass. So he also showed that in his experiment, increased diversity contributed to higher productivity. All these uh, sentences you have to know very well when this is one of the foremost questions. David Tilson's long-term experiment ecosystem experiment okay although we may not understand completely how species richness contributes to the well-being of an ecosystem species richness always contributes to well-being of an ecosystem more the species more more good will be the ecosystem we know enough to realize that rich biodiversity is not only essential for ecosystem health but uh, but crucial for the very survival of a human race on this planet Remember, if at all we have to live happily, we have to live happily, we our ecosystem, the in and around us, the other diversity also must be rich. It is, now what we are doing, we are mercilessly cutting the trees, thinking that these are useless. We are bothered about only such a trees, which we can make use uh, for our uh, this, uh, buildings, uh, infrastructures, that uh, um, the, this bedroom courts, and furniture, etc. We are not bothered much about each and every species role in the ecosystem. So at a time when we are losing species at an alarming pace, one might ask. So remember, we are losing species at an alarming rate. I hope you do not know. I'll show you how much species we are losing every year. One might ask, does it really matter to us if a few species become extinct? What answer you will tell? Does it matter? If a few species become extinct, there are so many, you know, 1.7 million species of plants and animals are there. 0.5 million plant species we know. What happens if you know, some species uh, become extinct? What do you say, Jiti? Are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you say? What do you say, Savitri? Kavita, are you there? Kavita, have you come? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Who is that voice? Voice? Who is that voice? voice?
Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, tell me. Come on. Come on. What will happen if few species become extinct? Please be interactive. Let us have some interaction, not simply you are sitting quiet. Boys, Anantita, Charan, can you tell me? Chinmay, can you tell me? Hello? Tanusi Jayasri? Please respond. Lohit? Lohit? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what will happen if some species become extinct? Yen Akhtarpa? Namiya? Vishwita, have you come? Yes, sir, I'm there. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. What are you doing? Where are you? Sir, actually, I was there only, but I was on loan at work. Okay, come on. What will happen? Nadira? Yeah, please give me an answer. Yes. Nadira? Nadira? The other dependent species may get affected by the species. Oh, yeah. species you know, let it go. Let it go about dozen species. Let it go. So that, please remember, Nadira, please know that in the ecosystem, each and every species has its own role to play. Every species has its own role. The most useless species on this earth is who? The most Human. useless species on this earth is human. Huh? Vishmita. Who is that? Sir. Vishmita. Vishwita is the most useless, useless woman. And me is the most useless man. Am I right, Vishmita? Don't feel bad. I have included my name. Yes, sir. Okay. So, we, 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 if at all, do you think? Yes, come on. Yeah, man. Can you, sir? Rafa, Rafa, are you there? Yes, sir. Rafa, yes, sir. Rafa, yes, sir. if at all, if at all, if at all, we become extinct, do you think that a nature will worry? No, sir. Nature will be very happy. Yes, nature sir. Nature will be very happy because we are doing that much of damage. Except the human being, each and every species on this earth have their own role to play. Understood? Now, yeah? Each and every species have their own role to play. Therefore, therefore, Nadira, Nadira, it is not that if at all one species become extinct, it's a dependent species also become extinct. Like that, no doubt. But if at all, you you, you know, can you tell me? Is there any species that dependent on human being? In nature? Nadira? Nadira? No, sir. No. no. We are not required by anyone. The moment when the human being becomes extinct, the nature will be very, very happy. Right? So, West, would Western Ghats ecosystem be less functional if one of the trees, frog species, is lost forever? If the Western Ghats ecosystem be less functional if one of the trees, frog species, is lost forever? Because you know that even if it are one species becomes extinct, as Nathir has put it, the one other one which is dependent on this species gets affected. And the frog, whatever it goes to eat, that species number increases. Let me tell you, shall I tell you, shall I tell you one particular incident, whatever that uh, I used to observe during my childhood? Are you interested to know? Are you interested to know? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Rakesh. Yes, sir. Rakesh. Remember, during my childhood, when I was uh, not like you, you are younger than you. Younger than you, I might be going to the school, middle school, primary school. Yeah. People used to, to come with a big gunny bag at night time, gunny bag, at the night time, with a torch. Torch at a, at a uh, rainy season. Can you tell me why? In the villages, villages, people used to come with a big gunny bag, gunny bag, goni chila, gunny bag, with the torch light. Do you know why? Do you know why? They used to move at night in the farm, 
in the farm and collect collect big 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 frogs collect what big big frogs they used to collect big big frogs which frog you know which frog you know you you might not have seen that frog now it is called rana tigerina it is called it is called bull frog they used to come and collect big big frogs in a entire granny bag and they used to, to take and when i was uh, i was a lecturer at singeri in 1976 From almost to 1976 to about to 1990, I used to get, I used to order 200 to 300 frogs for the college practical purpose, and we used to have, I, I, I used to have one what is called frog chamber, frog chamber. In that particular, in that particular chamber, we used to have a big tank, water tank, water tank. And in this water tank, water tank, only a small portion was there open. In this water tank, we used to put these frogs. Two hundred, three hundred frogs. We used to just leave these frogs in this big water tank. And we used to uh, collect about fifteen, uh, twenty frogs uh, for sometimes thirty uh, frogs uh, for each practical. And you know, during those days. The students used to cut a frog, one frog for digestive system, one frog for the reproductive system, one frog for the excre that reproductive and excretive system together, one frog for the arterial system, one frog venous system, one frog for the this is a fifth cranial nerve, another frog for seventh cranial nerve, another frog for tenth cranial nerve, another frog for spinal nerves, another frog for the skull preparation, another frog for pectoral gut preparation, another frog for pelvic gut preparation. In this way, we used to say three plus three plus three plus three, almost twelve practicals on the frog, and a repetition of that. Every practical used to get repeated. That means around twenty four to twenty five frogs we used to cut for one student, one student, and at that time, what happened? Because of this, we used to get that people what they used to do, they used to collect the catches of frog, and later. Do that after catching this frog, they used to do. If at all this a frog, they used to after catching the frog, collecting the frog, collecting frog, they used to cut this uh, body of the frog, right? Separate the legs and sell this, export this leg. Legs of the frog used to get exported, exported, and there is a very good high demand for this legs of a frog, and this part simply they used to throw. And that made the Supreme Court to intervene, and later the entire catching of this rana tigerina bullfrog was totally was totally banned. And even for our even even for our college uh, practical also, we are now prohibited by using these uh, frogs. No, you are not supposed to kill the frog at all. So this is the thing. At that time, that many frogs were there. When those that many frogs were there, you know. Frogs generally eat insects. There was no much problem they got to insect harming the crops because frogs used to catch these insects. So there was no that much demand for the applying of these insect pesticides, insect pest insecticide. There was no need of that. So it was a cycle. Insects when the frogs were started getting killed for this leg muscle, thigh muscle, what you say, thigh muscle got to export it now. Frog population came down, and at that time, when the frog population came down, insect population raised up, and that made good number different types of insecticides to be used for the crop to get rid of the insects. Insecticides were started using. Once the frog is removed, it's a it's a prey species. Insects started increasing. Once the frog, you know, which used to eat the frog. Tell me, which one used to eat, eat the frog? Frogs were eaten by snakes. Frogs were eaten by snakes. When the frog population came down, snake population also came down. Snake population. I, you may really wonder. I used to find big, big rat snakes. You know what is a rat snake? Do you know what is a rat snake? Rafa, have you seen a rat snake? 
Rakesh, can you see the rat snake? Lohit, can you <laughs> see the rat snake? The rat snake is what is called? Have you seen Rafa? Aisha? Maybe, sir. I don't know. You don't know. Would you like to uh, see now? Would you like to yes, see now? Sir. Okay. I'm not showing you real stick, no. If at all you are there in the college, I'd have showed you real stick by handling that. Okay. It's very fierce, sir. Very big one. So, this, if at all you want to see, if you want to see, now what you have to see? Rat snake. I used to handle them. I used to just to show the, to my students this. Who is it? Can you see now? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Can you see? Can you see the snake? Yes, sir. This is the rat snake. Big one. Indian rat snake. Tayas, tayas. Okay. This rat snake population came down. Can you see this? Can you see? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Did, uh, recently, about uh, 15 years back, I could see this much a big rat snake in my farmhouse. I was sitting there. I was sitting there outside. And in the morning, actually, I have walked on that uh, leaves of the coconut. And I was sitting there uh, talking in uh, talking uh, in my mobile. All of a sudden, I saw a big snake just uh, starting. I called my wife, daughter, and come, come, come here, see that. And I showed them. And we were, yeah, in fact, my daughter had told me yeah, two days before, uh, there is a big snake like that. Then I told that, have you seen that, any mark on that? And she said, nothing like that. So if at all you come across any mark here, any mark here, that would have been, that would have been, you want to see that one? That would have been what is called, do you know? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that that would have been see oh these are all these all you know you have seen this this all this all with the this marking if this mark is there then it is a naja naja what is naja naja what is that naja 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 nothing but nothing but cobra cobra right i wanted just to show you see this also is like that is thing you know which i have showed earlier is it not Rat snake, it also resembles rat snake. Only difference is there when I think I can't show you here. Only difference is there on the back, on the back here. You see, spectacular mark. You see this a spectacular mark, spectacular mark. See, what is that? They, not this. Uh, spectacular mark on the back, back of that. Not here, on the other side. You see, some V shaped mark, spectacular mark. Then it will be. Then it will be cobra. Otherwise, it is a rat snake. So, rat snake populations drastically come down now. Very drastically has come down. Earlier, we used to see that very now and then whenever we used to play. Right? Clear. Now, we shall come back. I hope you see this page. Are you seeing this page? So, each and every species has their own role. Let me just tell you another experience of mine. Okay. In fact, when we used to do this research, I used to do the research in villages and all. And whenever you used to go to the villages, the small, small children used to come and they used to just crowd uh, around us and used to ask uh, this time and like that. So one day what happened, you know, when I just went to, went to, to a village, a small guy, he just uh, called me, come sir, come sir, come sir. Then I said, what man, what you, what you want? He just pulled my hand. Hey boy, what are you doing? What do you want? Then, Bandi sir, he said he called me and he just showed one uh, hole, one hole he showed in the mud road. I was surprised, what is this hole? What is that? Sir, sir, there is something inside, there is some, uh, you know, something inside. What is that? I could not be gone. And what he did, he just uh, said, sir, wait, sir, wait, sir. And he just uh, ran away and he brought, uh, he bought uh, one uh, that uh, pot of uh, water, uh, tambike. One tamige, small vessel, water he brought. And he just started pouring in to that. You know when he has poured in? Immediately, a burrower, burrowing insect came out. A burrowing insect with all this cross pointing and all. I was surprised, sir. Hey, I asked him, hey, that's fine. But how you came to know that there is some creature inside? 
how you came to never tell first time eh, no sir i don't want to tell sir no sir i don't want to tell sir eh, bad oh hello ha gotte to you know what he might have done rakesh prithvi 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 sir how he might have got to know about that rakesh lohit vishwas harshvardhan charan chinmayi how he might have come to know first time that there is some creature inside what happened you know what happened you know when these small kids are playing small kids are playing what happened was that they have noticed right? when the small kids are playing they noticed one hole there in that what they did they just one of the boy started a what is that rakesh started a started a hey Rakesh, yes sir. Huh? What did he do now? He started urinating. Simply started urinating on the hole. And when he started urinating, the insect came out. <laughs> that boy got frightened. Okay, insect came out, and that is why he invented this. Understood? Clear? Like that. This childhood, the guys do so much uh, investigation like that. Okay, come on now. This that means each and every insect has its own role, and I don't know whether you have seen any anyone who have moved in the muddy road. I think uh, Vishwita might have moved. Vishwita, is yes, there any sir. any muddy road near Matto? Yes, sir. Yeah, have you moved at any muddy road? Yes, sir. Have you seen at any time uh, some uh, cow dung falling on that? Yes, sir. Cow dung? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, have you seen that? What is there in that cow dung area? Have you lifted it any time? Yes. Yeah. Next time, next time you have to do one thing. Okay. What you have to do? You do one thing. One work. Shall I give to you? Shall I give to? Shall I give one work to you? When you, okay. whenever you come that cow dung, you just see. You remove that cow dung. You remove that cow dung. You know. If you remove that cow dung, you what you have to do? You have to just uh, that uh, turn out the cow dung. You see an insect like this, a beetle. Beetle. Have you anyone of you seen this beetle? Charan, Chinmayi, Tanushree, Jayasree. Yes, sir. Ah, have yes, sir. Seen? Have you seen? Who? 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 Hello? Who has seen it? This type of a round they make a. Uh, The beetles, sir. It is called a dung beetle. These are dung beetles. Dung beetles. They just make a roll or rotate this piece by little bit, bit by bit. Dung into a small ball like structure. Do you know what they do? Can you, sir? Can you expect me what? Can you expect what you what they are going to do with this? They used to take these balls, small small balls of the dung, deep into the soil. To take it into deep into soil, leave it, come back again, rotate, turn it into a small ball, and take it to to the soil. Thereby they in they enrich the soil. Thereby they enrich the soil. Is it that for doing this work they get uh, some uh, special prize? Rafa, can you sir? Do you expect it to to get uh, some uh, special prize? Are you just no. that? Is it that it is to doing that someone should recognize our their work and they should give some uh, special uh, that uh, offer to them? No. In this way, remember. In this way, there are so many animals in animal kingdom. They play their own role, including your ant. Each and every species of ant, each and every species of animal in this earth, they have their own role to play. They play one or the other role that is beneficial, beneficial to the ecosystem. Only cruel, merciless, ungrateful, always quarrelling and finding fault in others, not allowing to others to live happily, peacefully, is the only one creature, one species, Homo sapiens. That is me. That is you. See that how much we fight in the name of a caste, creed, religion, and all. Why don't they learn the lesson that we? we what is that? Uh, let to live, let others to live. We have to live, and we have to let others also to live. What is most important is a peaceful life, and we have to learn such a compromising, mutualistic, mutually benefiting life. 
by these insects, by these animals which are present in and around us. We being most intellectuals, we fight. We think that we are the eternal, we are going to remain here forever. It is very bad. Okay, so that's what I wanted to tell now. Let me come back to this. What I was, I was telling now. Okay, right. How is our quality? How is our quality of life affected? If, say, instead of 20,000, we have only 15,000 species of ants on Earth, even, as I told you, it is not a number. Each and every organism, each and every individual on this Earth have significant role to play. You, if one species is removed, you may not uh, know the significance. Why? What is happening? Out of 1.7 species of uh, animals and uh, living organisms, we are also one species. We are also one species. So if one species gets removed in the nature, except human being, each and every species, so since they are playing very important role, definitely is going to affect. But may not be seen at the beginning by only one species. Now let me tell you, there are no direct answers to such a native questions, but we can develop a proper perspective through an analogy, what is called a revet to proper hypothesis. This was asked in one year for four months question. Revet to proper hypothesis. What is this revet to proper hypothesis that was used by Stanford ecologist of Paul and Lich? Paul Ehrlich has made an analogy, revet proper hypothesis. Now, let me just before showing you what it is written in uh, written in uh, this uh, NCAT book, let me just tell you, you have, you have an aeroplane, you have an aeroplane, okay? You have an aeroplane. In this aeroplane, okay, in this aeroplane, let us see that, you are sitting inside, you are sitting inside and that. And every time you come out from the airplane, you make it a point, you just uh, remove one uh, nut or bolt, one nut, everyone, one nut or bolt, you are, uh, while coming out, you are coming out with that uh, nut and bolt. Okay? So, you are going to remove, everyone is going to remove one, one nut. In the, from the chair. So, at the beginning, since only one nut, there are many nuts and bolts, let us see, only one nut is removed. So, or one bolt is removed. Since only one bolt and nut, or one nut is removed, or one bolt is removed at the beginning, there may not be any problem. If you know like that, everyone while coming, they will bring one nut and bolt, and one nut or one bolt like that. When, if all these are, there are windows also. From the windows also, someone removes one nut or one bolt. Do you think that at the beginning there will be any problem? No. Am I right? No. If at all, it continues. And more and more nuts are removed from the from the seat where they sit. Is it not that in the long run it is going to affect? Am I right? Are you understanding my point? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So only at the beginning it may not be significant. But when more and more such a uh, nuts and bolts are removed, then it's going to create a problem. You just uh, compare this uh, nut and bolt to, to one species. Each nut to, to one species. If at all one nut is removed, one species is removed at the beginning, there might have been a problem. But when hundreds of these uh, nuts or bolts are removed, hundreds of species are removed, then it is going to affect it is going to affect the it is going to affect the population, community. In the same way, instead of removing the seat and nut board, let us think that we are going to remove the nut and bolt of the wing. Wing. What will happen? What will happen? Wing. From the wing it is removed. What will happen? Charan? What will happen? Prathiraj? From the wing it is removed. If the nut and bolt of the wing is removed, the flight may not take off at all. Because it cannot be used. Pratvi, are you hearing, hearing me? Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? So, the same analogy, let me just tell you. In an aeroplane ecosystem, all parts are joined together using thousands of rivets. These are the rivets. Okay? Thousands of rivets. If every passenger traveling in it starts popping a rivet to take home, causing a species to become extinct, it may not affect the flight safety initially. But as more and more rivets are removed, the plane becomes a dangerous the weak over a period of time. Is it clear, Rohit? Is it clear, Namrata? Is it clear, Diti? Yes. Right? So, furthermore, which, which rivet is removed? Also very important. Which rivet is removed may also be critical. So, loss of rivets on the wings, wings, 
let us consider it a key species that to drive major ecosystem function is obviously more serious threat to flight safety than loss of a wing, loss of a few rivets on the seats or windows. If it was some seats, some rivets are removed from the seats or from the window, it may not cause much problem. When then when the rivets when the rivets are removed from the when the rivets are removed when the rivets are removed from the wing. So if the rivets are removed from the wing, it is going to create a serious problem than when the rivets are removed from the seat. And this, that means loss of rivets on the wing, key species. I'm going to tell what is the key species in my next class. Okay. Sorry, sorry that I started the class late and caused the inconvenience to you. Okay. Shall I stop it here? Okay. Let us clear your doubt. Clear your doubt in the next class. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. Thank you.